Previously on Popular. I think maybe to achieve real intimacy, we need to have real intimacy. Josh, are you awake? I thought finally doing it would maybe fix all the other stuff. Josh, just because we're breaking up doesn't mean that we still can't be friends. I love you, Brooke. You only get one first time. Make sure it's worth it. so repulsed. What is it? It's a granola bar I threw out last Friday. <sighs> when is this gonna end? Karma, don't. Look, that bald janitor's giving me the evil eye. Fine. Let him. Better that than the entire planet know that my mustache bleaches my back order. You have a mustache? these stupid tests anyway. Twice will last the longest in this life Character or rock hard fight In the end, do you believe that beauty lies in what you see? Cause if you do, then baby, you've been deceived Well, me expect all of you to regard this as a privilege. The Guest Principal Program is an annual event that provides us an opportunity to meet with leaders of the community. Mary Cherry, what are you doing? Disinfecting my personal space. Put that away. Now. When you nominate someone for principal for the day, take into consideration why that person is a positive role model. What contribution could they make to our school? Each of you may choose one candidate and then solicit your classmates for support. And your signature must not appear on more than two lists. What did I say about the Lysol girl? You got popcorn in your ears? I'm sorry, I'm not into catching mad cow disease from a desk. Miss Julian, what you are doing is called scabbing. We need to respect our janitor's protests until their concerns are addressed. Well, they don't want to be addressed. I offered to buy that fat bald one a new push broom. He barked at me. Look, this mess was here long before the strike. But how can we expect some guests to be our principal when this place looks like Johnny Depp's hotel room? Life is messy, Miss Ferrara. And how we deal with that mess says a great deal about our character. You can either ignore the stench until it seeps into your pores and suffocates you, or you can face the filth and accept the fact that there is no such thing as an easy cleanup. It's one wrap at a time, baby. Remember, all nominations are to be in the box Monday by three, no exceptions. Uh, uh, Miss Ross, um, if, I, if I miss tomorrow, can I make up that test on Monday? Yeah, Monday's fine. Thanks. Hey, everything okay? What? Just asking. Well, don't, okay? Okay. 29, 30. 31, okay, I'm four days late. Wow, this is so harsh. What, you think I'm pregnant? No, I think I have the same social life as Urkel. <gasps> Do you realize I haven't had a date in 17 days? Nicole! Come on. Okay, please be. Don't go into drama overdrive. You've missed entire seasons before. Yeah, but th that wasn't after I'd had sex. <sighs> Just take the test again, okay? And this time, do it at home. Some place where you don't have to line the toilet seats with a lead apron. Wait, what about Josh? Do I tell him? That you think you're pregnant? She... Don't say <sighs> it. Talk about groveling 101. He'll just assume that you're using that to get back together. I don't want to get back together. Exactly. So chill. The river can't run through it if you're stressing, okay? around here 
through and pick up those push brooms faster than you could say Jimmy Crackhorn. That's it. That's exactly who we need. Martha Stewart? Ooh, I don't know. She might make us turn this debris into patio furniture. No, idiot. A real celebrity for principal. Get with it. Paltrow? But she's got an Oscar and Ben Affleck and flawless skin. She wouldn't be caught dead in this hellhole. She's supposed to be a sweetie. And the speakers in her beamer are the bomb. How do you know? Well, I recommend him to her personal shopper. I met him at the driving range. Did you know Gwyneth's personal shopper? Yeah, so what? He's everyday people. Hurry. Write down Goddess Gwyneth for principal and start getting signatures. And if anyone resists, spray him in the eyes. You track down that personal shopper, find a hole in Gwyneth's schedule. I barely know the guy. If I wanted your opinion, the subject would be pancakes. Dial. Come on, just ask her. Forget it. What's going on? I'm trying to get his mom to call George. Stephanopoulos. Her guest principal. Yum. That's one reason to stay in school another week. Will you do it? She hardly knows her. Oh, you once said that George and Robin were college sweethearts. Yeah, like a million and two years ago. Okay, so maybe he owes her one. Yeah. He doesn't. And besides, the guy she's dating right now would totally freak. He goes crazy if a male operator picks up 411. Who's your mom dating these days? You never mentioned anybody. Why should I? He's a jerk. And hopefully she's passing through. Remember, I wanted to meet George. At least ask him about Monica. So what now? I think we go to Harrison's mom and make a direct appeal. Smart girl. Any reason you can't return a message? I called like four times. What's up? Nothing. I've been busy. Well, so have I, but I still find time to speak to my friends. Or is that over too? Josh, when people stop seeing each other, it's good to make a clean break. If we talk every day, we may as well be married. If we were married, we wouldn't talk at all. Look, I've got a lot on my mind. I'm not trying to be cold. Yeah, well, I'm not so sure you have to try anymore. You know what? You try living my life for one day, okay? Try juggling four advanced placement classes and, 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 and having two complete strangers move into your house and then you want the fact that you might be pregnant, huh? Whoa, 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 what did you say? How? We use protection. Yeah, well, apparently it didn't work. You know, why do you write the company and get a refund? This is bad. This is so bad. Look, it, it's, it, it's just a possibility, okay? So when are you gonna know for sure? When? I, I gotta get to class. Can I help you find something? Um, who me? No, just browsing. Uh, question. If one were looking for something to tell if... if one was, uh, <laughs> pregnant, where would one look? One would have to come to the counter to ask. Oh, okay. Which test are you interested in? Um, give me everything you got. They don't test it on rabbits, Billy, really, because it's lip balm. If it doesn't say it on the label, there is an abused animal sitting in a cage somewhere with really chapped lips. Ah, oh, you have an issue. This one's the most popular. Well, hello? Hey, Mrs. John. Oh, hi, Lily. Hi, guys. Where'd he go? Who? That boy that was, um, not important. So, how's school these days? Disgusting. No one's emptied a trash can in like two weeks. <laughs> Harrison should feel right at home. Yesterday, I found a bowl of Cheerios fermenting in his closet. <laughs> So, uh, what brings you all here? Oh, we were just in the neighborhood. Loitering. Hoping to meet George Stephanopoulos. <laughs> Ow. George? Why do you want to meet him? Kennedy's having this principal for a day thingy, and we have to find someone we think is a great role model. And it doesn't hurt that he looks really hot in a black turtleneck. <laughs> I see. So you want me to call him? No pressure. Honestly, we write the letter. All you have to do is sign it. Yeah, and I if you're worried about your boyfriend finding out? Well, my boyfriend? That's hardly an issue. I mean, let's face it, at this point in my life, I'm more likely to date Hillary Clinton than George Stephanopoulos. Well, Mrs. J, here's the thing, right? We were racking our brains trying to think of, like, who we want to meet. And since Ricky Martin's touring Ohio... <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry for interrupting. Look, I have got to get to the post office. But if I get stuck, I'll pick up some Chinese food and I'll be at your place around 7. Okay. Is Harrison still on that anti-string bean thing? Yeah, you better get plenty of noodles. Hall to back Gwyneth? Loosely. She thought she was signing a hall pass. <laughs> okay, so has 
Felix called back yet? I wouldn't get your hopes up. He didn't exactly make it sound like it was going to happen. Why did you speak to him? Why didn't you come get us? Where was he calling from? What was he buying her? Ten minutes ago. Shoes. Gucci. And I lost him at the escalator. Well, what exactly did he say? Did you tell him I've seen Shakespeare in love 12 times and I worship what she could do with a hair clip? I told him everything. And he said? Fat chance. Might want to try Joel. <gasps> Well, I certainly hope you're better at driving a getaway car than you are at making a phone call. Car? What? What? Where are we, where are we going? Bev Hills. But first, we're stopping at my place to get some cuffs. Oh. We're not here. If you want to leave a message for Robin or Harrison, do it. Now. Hey, is Brooke here? No. Really? Why? Where'd she go? I have no idea. Maybe you should get her a radio caller. Can I just leave these in her bedroom? Whatever. Damn it! Oh! No, don't. I got it. Thank you. You know what's going on, don't you? Sam, you gotta get her to take these tests ASAP. I can't make her do anything. Is there any reason why you bought so many of them? I figured I needed backup. Uh, positive, negative, tiebreaker. I don't know, what do you think? I think I'm staying out of this. See, the thing is, it could be a total false alarm, right? But if it's not, I mean, what do I do? Drop out of the 10th grade? Work in a paint store like my cousin Richie? He's like 23, he's got three kids and a beer gut. All he knows how to talk about is varnish. Josh, what are you doing here? Uh, I just came by to give you these. I don't believe you did this. Are you out of your mind? No, she's not gonna say anything. Oh, really? When did we become a threesome? Oh, okay, okay, I'm leaving. Now. No, just wait, just tell her you're not gonna oh, say anything. it's too late. Why don't you just send an email to my father, too? Brooke, he is only trying to help. See, she's cool. You just leave, now, Brooke. go! I swear to God, you breathe one word of this to anyone, and you will live to regret it. Hey, ready to go? One sec. Here. Thanks. How come you needed me to come pick you up? Where's Sheila? Post office. She's gonna pick up some Chinese on her way over. Cool. Oh, please tell me she's skipping the string beans. Those things are rank. <laughs> some of your friends came by after school with a pretty odd request. What do you mean, who? Sam, Carmen, Lily. I didn't realize everyone knew about my freshman fling with George Stephanopoulos. <laughs> I just told a few good friends. Why? Evidently not good enough friends to know about Sheila. Can you open the door? What's up with that, Harrison? When did Sheila become my boyfriend? Open the door. Please look at me. No, would you open the damn door? Now, don't use that tone of voice with me. I'm not looking to argue with you. I just want to talk about this. Not here. You think it's going to be any easier at home with Sheila sitting across the table? She will be across the table, Harrison, as she's been for the past six months. It really disturbs me to think she's not as welcome as I thought she was. What? What do you want from me? I bought her a birthday present. I'm always nice to her. You're great. So long as we're behind closed doors? Is that it? Why does the whole world have to know our business? Because it takes way too much energy to lie. Believe me, I did it for years. It gets messier and messier. I don't want to go back there, Harrison. It's a dark, ugly place. Yeah, I know. Some of us still live there. What do you mean by that? I don't want to talk about this right now, OK? When would be a good time? After Sheila's moved in? What do you plan on telling your friends then? That she's the maid? They don't have to know. They already do. Look, I'm sorry. Maybe you should have rehearsed me before they came to visit. You had no right to do that. You may be ready to be that, but I'm not. It's bad enough I hang out with three girls and I'm not dating any of them. I don't need a whole damn school thinking that I'm queer too. You, know, you don't mind people thinking you're a freak? Fine, I do. Tell me now you're gonna spend junior year looking bird crap off my bumper. Hey, can we look in the bags now? Not yet. Now. 
Or are we gonna make that collar knot? Shout all you want, hon. Nobody can hear you. Yeah, our chambermaids have traded their buckets for sandwich boards. Can we at least take off the gag? Not until he agrees. Will you do it? Come on, come on. Thank you. Hey, um, if Ben answers, will you tell him that Mary Cherry says, hey? I told you she's in Paris having hair extensions. She only checks her messages once a day. Oh, once a day? Wow, that's so secure. Bonjour, GP. It's Felix. Uh, listen, oh. could you call me? It's not about the Manola Blahniks. I picked them up. They're perfect. Very after dark. If Heather Graham already owns them, I will kill myself. Call me back when you get the chance. Get the chance? Tell her if she doesn't call back by 5 o'clock, she'll never see those shoes again. Last touch. Those aren't always accurate. I really think you should go to the clinic and get a blood test. I'm starving. If I make a huge salad, will you eat some? Okay, you're handling this really weirdly. Brooke, you have to deal with this. I know, and you don't. Why does cheese smell like feet? More rain, make it clean! More rain, make it clean! Call themselves the Dixie Chicks. Ugh, all those Kmart clogs and lint filled belly buttons. Talk about giving Southern girls a bad name. What does Gwynny think of them? Did she call yet? Hey, is my shift over? Go. I'll stay here for second and third period. Sugar Daddy will take fourth and lunch. And you'd better make those curly fries last, Buster, because you're only getting the essentials. Mm -hmm. Saltines, water, and the new issue of Vogue. I can't drink any more water if you won't let me use the men's room. Rough it. Hey, have you seen this sweater set? Oh, oh. oh fabulous. Oh, and it fits me like a second skin. Oh. I swear, Gwynny and I must be split from the same egg. Where are the shoes? <gasps> to die for? No one should die for a pair of shoes. Hush! It's perfect. And now for the Gweeny Fashion Show. Let's make it. 
Hubert Stein our nomination ballot for guest principal. Sorry, Stephanopoulos turns my stomach. I'm not into tattlers. Well, good, because we're not nominating George. We're nominating your mom. <laughs> what? The more we thought about it, the more it seemed like we should go for someone we know. You know, someone who's bold and courageous and Just... honest. Go away. Harrison, what is your problem? I mean, come on, how long have we known one another? Do you really think your friends are going to judge or, or not support you? I'm not looking for your support. Your mom is one of the smartest, coolest women I have ever... Or your opinion. Hey, Sam. So, uh, what do you know? What? The test. Did Brooke take the test? No. Why don't you ask her yourself? Because she won't, she won't talk to me. She won't even look at me. Now, is she pregnant or not? I don't... I don't know. Look... Sam. I'm sorry, I have to meet someone. I'm starting to feel really weird about this, Lily. I mean, if Harrison is that... What? Paranoid? No, this is exactly what he needs. Hey, Tawny. Oh, hi. Oh, hey, Tawny. Would you be interested in signing our ballot for guest principal? Sure. Who are you guys nominating? She's a friend of ours. She works over at the drugstore on 23rd. Oh, I thought it was supposed to be someone famous. Why are you nominating her? Because she's sharp. She's a pharmacist. And? <laughs> and a lesbian? What, isn't that enough? Why do you want someone gay to be our principal? Why does that matter? Because it's gross. I mean, it may be trendy, but I still think it's wrong. Who is this person anyway? Is she related to Harrison? No. No relation. Come on, Carmen. Honey, are you home? Sam? Sorry, Mom, I was just listening to... Where did you get that? It was here on the floor. Is this, uh... Is this yours or, or Brooks? Sam? It, it's, it's mine. Research for a project we're doing at school. I've only got one hand. You want me to hold your drink for you? Would you? Yo, what happened to your fish fillet? The rats got it. Damn! This place has turned Calcutta! Ooh. Did she call yet? Not yet. But my brother Felix says it's important. Imminent. What's that on your chin? Is that special sauce? He only had one pint. Traitor! Oh, don't hurt him, please. I begged him. I was delirious. Save it for Gwyneth. Where's the phone? I've already left 19 messages. If I call again, she'll just think I've become a stalker. This time, I'm gonna leave the message, Burger Breath. We're under a deadline here in Katie Corix. This close to taking the lead. If your boss doesn't call by midnight tomorrow, she's gonna lose more than a pair of shoes. Oh, my God. They're gonna kill me. They're gonna kill me. No, they aren't. Are they? All those who'd like to spend the day with Katie Couric, please sign your name on the board. And all those in favor of Gwyneth. Personally, I hope Katie wins. Katie is an exemplary mother, unlike some skinny sophomore who's reading way before she's ready. That child ain't got nothing to cradle but shame. Shame. Shame.
it, it's Brock. Um, with an E. You know, if um, if you have to be somewhere, I don't. Because you, you didn't have to come with me. It's fine, really. You looked like you didn't want to do this alone. I've handled much bigger stuff than this by myself. Really? Like what? I'm gonna go get a soda. You want? No, thank you. require more than one person? Nope. Harrison, could you stop dribbling for a second? We just wanted to say that... But look, what we did yesterday was majorly stupid. And we withdrew the nomination. Good. We're sorry. Okay. Yeah, who's this? Sam, I'm with Brooke down at the Women's Health Clinic. Oh my God, what is she doing there? What's going on? Relax, she's just taking a blood test. Can you get down here? Not a good idea, Sam. She's really mad at me right now. Forget what she said. She's lying to herself. She needs you here. Yeah, but you saw how angry she was. She almost attacked me. Then wear your helmet. Just get here. But Sam... Josh, she didn't get into this situation alone, okay? Horses, you know? Went after someone who checks her messages like Eve Plum. One more suggestion like that, and I swear I'll pinch her head right off your neck. Don't turn on him. Thank you. Oh, shut up. No, you shut up. Y'all think you're really gonna get closer to Gwenny by messing up her clothes or torturing her staff? Why the hell would she come and hang with you after all of this? Because we worship her style. Her style? Her style is over there chained to a pipe. Gwenny doesn't care if her style lives or dies. That's true, isn't it? I'm wasting my life. No. I could have been a, a librarian, an orthodontist, a moyle, someone who made a difference. But you have. Felix, do you know how many people use Gwynnie as their fashion barometer? They're fools. Do you have a personal shopper? Well, no, not yet, but... Do you? Not at the moment, but I'm interviewing. That's my point. You don't need one. Amen. The two of you have more style in your little fingers than all the celebrities crammed into one double issue of us. Those people aren't us. Amen. They don't trust their own taste. My God, you're the trendsetters. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Felix. Thank Why you. worship some stranger who doesn't have the confidence to buy her own underwear? You're the real thing. Sugar D, uncuff him. Look at me. I'm covered with goose flesh. You always do nice things with texture. Thank you. There you go, man. You're free, bro. Well, what will you do now, Felix? I don't know. I've always wanted to see India. Hey. Oh, what are you doing here? I called him. Sam, why? Because she knew I wanted to be here. Josh. Brooke, you didn't get into this situation alone, okay? Thanks. Miss Brooke, with an E. Listen, 
Um, I don't need both of you guys hanging around, really. Sam, you can leave. Josh will take me home. Harrison do that. Harrison hasn't been in a helping mood these days, or haven't you noticed? When he's ready to talk, he will. And I sure as hell don't want to be the reason he's not coming home. He's home. He's just locked himself in his bedroom. No. Actually, he's here. Hey. Where you been? Shooting hoops. Listen, uh, I'm not going to be around for dinner. Where are you going to be? Out. But I need to borrow the car. You're not going to borrow it unless you tell us where you're going. Nope, not me. I don't need any answers. I'm very happy in the dark. Uh, Sheila, I could use your support here. <sighs> then you're looking to the wrong person, because I was once a teenager myself. Don't back him up on this. She can if she wants to. What is this? Gang up on Robin Week? No one's ganging up here. We just have different views on certain issues, like privacy. This isn't about privacy. Well, maybe not for you, but you're not in high school. Must be nice to have someone who knows you so well. Look, I'm still adjusting here, too. I had in my head this image of a perfect mom, and I never wanted to be anything less for you. And if that meant denying how I felt and who I was, I'd do it. And I did, for years. And I was miserable. I thought if I was happy and honest, you'd benefit more in the long run. I don't know if there's such a thing as the perfect mom. Believe me, Harrison, if I could be that person, I would be. I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at you either. I'm just mad at myself for forgetting sometimes that the whole world's not on my schedule. Be back at 11. 11.30. 11. 11.15. 11. Come on, not everyone is on your schedule. Mom? I'm getting there as fast as I can. Yes, I, I, I'm calling for some results from a test, uh, a pregnancy test. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh, Lord, I didn't need that. Oh, 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 oh. oh no, say it ain't so. Is by any chance one of you carrying a plunger? Oh, wouldn't that be scabbing, Miss Ross? Remind me to flunk you. Y yes, 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 I'm here. Miss McQueen, the test results are negative. <laughs> Is there anything else I can help you with? No, no, no. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Can I can I send you something? A basket? Do, do you like balloons? Excuse me? Nothing. Never mind. Thank you. <gasps> Good news. The best. What'd they say? False alarm. <laughs> Maybe next time you'll trust your best friend. I know, I know. What was I thinking? I always write love these bracelets. Are they new? Just dug them out of a drawer. Oh my god. Oh my god. I almost forgot. I've been carrying this around for like a week and I keep forgetting to give it to you. It's a four-page spread on here and shopping with Gwyneth. <gasps> mm -hmm. They show her shopping with her personal shopper in Paris, Milan, and New York. Mm -hmm. You're you. kidding me. Right there. This is so... Not Felix. Her shopper's a woman? I don't think I've smiled since last Thursday. <laughs> Forgot I had teeth. <sighs> Sam, um... Look. You're welcome. Mental patient escaped from a halfway house? <laughs> okay, 
you have to admit, for a psychopath, he had really good taste in shoes. <laughs> Oh, wait, okay, oh, look, I got this. How about the guy Happy Meal? There's an image lives inside of me, and it calls back pain and ecstasy. Faces calling. As if from a dream, time won't stop on a mountain top in the circle of love, circle of love. 